For this video, we'll be taking a look at the one-way closed area load. This area load creates rectangular distributions of equal value across all the members that it is applied to. So to do this, we'll go to the area loads button and then we'll create a one-way closed area. So we simply specify the corner nodes that form the plane. So for this example, this will be nodes 5, 6, 7, and 8. So we just use comma separated values and we'll apply a pressure value of 1.2 KSF representing the pressure exerted by the slab. Now we apply these in the global Y axis and we hit the apply button. So by default, you'll notice that the view you're presented with is the pressure load. So the pressure will give you a value of 1.2 KSF, but if you go to the view button here, you're able to change this to the equivalent area load values which are presented as DLs or distributed loads. So you'll notice that eight members have been selected to have the area loads applied to them. So these eight members were selected because they are members that can be found when going from corner to corner along the plane that was created. So in this example it exerted a 1.636 kip per foot area load along the members. And just as previous you can go to the area loads menu and go back to the area load and change the magnitude or the direction as you see fit offering you the convenience to change this at any time. So for the next video we'll be taking a look at the two-way area load so stay tuned for that. Thanks and bye for now.